very briefly to the decision to publicly go out with your results on the email. Was your decision influenced by the Attorney General's tarmac meeting with the former President Bill Clinton? Yes, in, in a ultimately uh, conclusive way. That was the thing that capped it for me, that I had to do something separately to protect the credibility of the investigation, which meant both the FBI and the Justice Department. Were there other things that contributed to that that you can describe in an open session? There were other things that contributed to that. Uh, one significant item I can't, I know the committee's been briefed on. There's been some public accounts of it which are nonsense, but I understand the committee's been briefed on the classified facts. And probably the only other consideration that I guess I can talk about in open setting is that at one point the Attorney General had directed me not to call it an investigation, but instead to call it a matter which confused me and concerned me, but that was one of the bricks in the load that led me to conclude I have to step away from the department if we're to close this case credibly. And then you made a comment earlier about um, the attorney general, uh, previous attorney general, uh, asking you about the uh, investigation on the Clinton emails, saying that you've been asked not to call it an investigation anymore, but to call it a matter. And you had said that confused you. Can you give us additional details on that? Well, it concerned me because we were at the point where we had refused to confirm the existence, as we typically do, of an investigation for months. And it was getting to a place where that looked silly because the campaigns were talking about interacting with the FBI in the course of our work. The, the Clinton campaign at the time was using all kinds of euphemisms, security review, matters, things like that for what was going on. We were getting to a place where the Attorney General and I were both going to have to testify and talk publicly about it. And I want to know, was she going to authorize us to confirm we had an investigation? And she said, yes, but don't call it that. Call it a matter. And I said, why would I do that? And she said, just call it a matter. And again, you look back in hindsight, you think, should I have resisted harder? I just said, all right, isn't worth, this isn't a hill worth dying on. And so I just said, okay, the press is going to completely ignore it. And that's what happened when I said, we have opened a matter. They all reported the FBI has an investigation open. Uh, and so that concerned me because that language tracked the way the campaign was talking about the FBI's work. And that, that's concerning. It gave the impression that the campaign was somehow using the same language as the FBI because you were handed the campaign language and told yeah. to be able to use the campaign. Whether, and again, I don't know whether it was intentional or not, but it gave the impression that the attorney general was looking to align the way we talked about our work with the way a political campaign was describing the same activity, which was inaccurate. We had a criminal investigation open, with, as I've said before, the Federal Bureau of Investigation. We had an investigation open at the time, and so that gave me a queasy feeling. 